Today, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the crafting system on Grand RP. I will tell you how it's organized, how to easily farm luminous stones, as well as share the history of its appearance on the project. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you about how to get five luminous stones in a level four backpack. And by the way, I left a referral link down below in the description, so if you don't mind getting free money, I suggest you follow that. Get it. Just in case in two words, I'll tell you that with the help of crafting system, you can combine two items to get one really rare one. For example, the beloved luminous stones. In order to open the crafting menu, you need to press the I key for your inventory. Then on the top right, you're gonna see two buttons, weapon camouflage and creating items. In fact, these are two different crafting systems. Just if the weapon camouflage crafting system is only limited to crafting drawings on weapons, creating beautiful prints of armor with the spray cans, then the creating items menu offers a lot more functionality. All sections of this system are divided to masks, backpacks, headwear, outerwear, boots, pants, ammunition, even recently added pets and so on. To craft most things in this system, you're gonna need a luminous stone. But the problem is that you can't get it at any job. So what do you do? That's exactly what the potter job is for. Here, you just need to mine two kinds of stones. 500 ruby and 100 diamonds. Then in the same crafting menu, just take them and create one luminous stone, which costs from around 900 to 1.3 million dollars. On some services, even less. It all depends on what server you want. By the way, if you have a lot of money, you can just buy it from the fence bot for 1.5 million dollars. By the way, I'm gonna give away five of these stones as soon as this video gets 250 likes, and those with the most interesting answers are gonna get these stones. So using this luminous stone, you can even craft a level 2 or a level 3 backpack. It's easy. All you have to do is just remove your backpack from its native slot, put it in your inventory, then go to the crafting section and choose the skin that you want. If you want to, you can even try the backpack on before you craft it. Well, but the most popular item is obviously the glowing boots. That is done in exactly the same way. Buy those luminous boots at the auction. To that, add around 30 to 50 luminous stones and exchange them for sneakers. My advice to you is to always always see what gender you're gonna buy or exchange it in a crafting menu or you're gonna make the same mistakes as i do and obviously after that the price of these boots fly to the sky the second popular resource for crafting is wires you can get them by working as an electrician but the drop on them is so rare that i would even think twice to go and work there because it's gonna take quite some time but in any other case if you're lucky then for 500 wires which are needed for crafting i think you can buy literally anything on a server they're so expensive and by the way these luminous racing suits I think they're the only item on the server that can be crafted exclusively by a single resource the minute of useless info from Slim Capella <laughs> By the way, the system allows you to create different weapons. For that, you need scrap metal, which you can find using a fossil map. Or if you want to simplify the process, just use a scanner, which, by the way, can also be scrap. I just realized it sounds like a vicious circle. <laughs> and of course, with a crafting system, you can create rare masks. For example, let's take a look at a mask labeled Grand. You can craft it from 500 different masks. Thus, do not rush to throw away your mask. But first look, maybe it's an opportunity to sell it for a very good price. Or create one very cool and expensive. Interested in the history of adding this system? I talked to the developers who told me that this system was implemented two years ago. Because many players complained about the lack of content for solo players. Initially, you could craft masks in the trade market. But later, this system appeared in the inventory menu and has been replenished ever since. By the way, interesting fact, the first item in the crafting system was a payday mask and a grand RP mask. And players were not actually happy about the update. But today, the crafting system of grand RP has become the most detailed crafting system in whole GTA 5 RP and includes a lot of objects for a variety of players. By the way, recently in a crafting system on Grand RP, they've added an ability to craft pets. But that is a topic for one of the next videos. Be sure to write your ID and your server number down below in the comments section. There will be six winners overall, one of whom will receive a level four backpack and another five will receive five luminous stones. More detailed rules, I told you earlier on in the video, so if you missed that, make Make sure to go back and watch it. As usual, the referral link is down below in the description. Make sure to follow that to get cool bonuses for your journey. My name is Slim Capella, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.